Welcome to Alltrady, the platform that lets you trade on multiple exchanges from one place. In our previous video we showed you how to configure exchanges, and today we'll be focusing on how to find markets to trade. To get started, let's look at how markets are displayed on the platform. Markets are organized into tabs, similar to how your web browser displays web pages. You can have multiple market tabs open at once, and you can open up a new market tab by clicking on the plus icon. When you click on the plus icon, a pop-up will appear with a list of available markets. On the left side of the pop-up, you will see a list of exchanges that you've configured on the platform. On the right side, you'll see the markets available for the selected exchange. You can select multiple exchanges by holding down the control key or the command key on a Mac. If you don't see your preferred exchange in the list, you can add it by clicking on the settings icon in the top right corner here. Now you can click on the exchange and put it in your preferred order. To open a new tab with the market, simply click on the market in the list, and the new tab will open with the selected market. If you frequently switch between markets, we recommend adding the markets widget to your terminal. To do this, click on the widgets icon and select the markets widget. If your screen is smaller, the markets will be added to a side drawer that you can open and close as needed. With the markets widget, you can quickly browse through all the available markets on the platform, and you can use your keyboard to navigate the markets by clicking on one of the markets and then using your keyboard shortcuts Control up or Control down or Command up or Command down on a Mac. One useful feature of the Altrady platform is the ability to create watch lists. When you're browsing through the markets, you can right click on a market to save it to a watch list. If you don't have a watch list yet, you can click on create watch list, and then you can give it a name, a short name, and a color. Once you've created a watch list, you can add markets to it by right clicking on the market and selecting your watch list. Using sorting and filtering is another great way to find markets that are currently seeing a lot of action by price, and you can have some great candidates for scalping during the day. You can easily sort markets by name, price, change and volume by clicking on the header. You can also apply filters by clicking on the filters button. To find any market, you can use the search function. It will search through all the selected exchanges and watch list. Make sure to separate the coins with a space or a slash. If the market list does not return any results, make sure the correct exchanges and watch lists are selected. If you have recently visited markets, you can click on the Recent tab. This will show you a list of markets you've visited. You can also find the markets you have open orders in, to quickly check how those markets are doing. Using the Markets widget is essential for active traders who want to stay on top of their trades. With the navigation functions, you can find short-term and long-term trades easily, organize it with the watch list, and keep track of your open orders to optimize your trading strategy.